Mouse Dribble News fans, uh, please forgive me for being just a little bit smug on this one, but this is some very good news. The Oplan Bayan Anihan, hope I said that right, the uh, campaign by the Filipino government to exterminate the Mouse Rebels that have been going on for two and a half years has now been shown by a government report to have absolutely failed to stop the Maoist insurgency. And I'm actually very, very happy about that because the NPA are true revolutionaries who've been plugging away for, what, 42, 43 years now for revolution and have never given up the struggle in any of that amount of time. Now, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff General Emmanuel Batista said 4,000, there are estimates of 4,384 new people's army guerrillas uh, when the anti-insurgency campaign was launched July 1st, 2011. He says now today there are a little over 4,000. So they say that there's been a decline of only about 9%. So not sure, really sure where they get these numbers from, but if their numbers are true, that would seem to indicate that they have been relatively completely ineffective. Now, I would like to add that in the past, there have been other plans or plans to get rid of the Maoist insurgencies, which have ridiculously failed. In fact, uh, the one I particularly remember the most was Oplan Bandhelea, where they said that they were just going to, that's it, we were going to wipe out the Maoist insurgency, and that's it, it's all over, and there won't be a single one of them left, and they'll be crushed. I believe that was about 2006. Where you at? I believe there have been two O plans since then, and they've all been complete miserable failures and have absolutely failed to stop the revolutionary will of the peasants inside the country. Now, of course, to get back to the story. Now, speaking about the recruitment, because it's a guerrilla army to do recruit people. Uh, he did say that we have a significant number of surrenderees from the ranks of the MPA. There have been continuous recruitment, and it's unfortunate the recruits they're getting from the youth, from farmers, indigenous people. So in other words, the exploited masses which the system is oppressing. Uh, imagine that, that the people that the system is oppressing are the ones rising up to combat it. That seems rather kind of obvious to me. It's not unfortunate. It's actually very appropriate. There are a lot more people that are oppressed by the government of the Philippines, including the continual massacres that are carried out by the Filipino government that have killed unbelievable amounts of innocent people, merely suspected for supporting the Maoist insurgency or just living in a place where Maoist insurgency existed. And terrible massacres were carried out to terrorize the population by the Filipino military. Now, there was another interesting quote by him. The campaign remains on track. Bayan Ihan, timeline by 2016. We will win the peace, and if you join us, win the peace. All of our people will join us, win the peace. We can achieve that earlier. It's for all of us. It's for our people. That is an outright absolute fraud for two reasons. One, by 2016. Okay, I've heard that before. Second, the massacres are being carried out by the Filipino military. The system is oppressing Filipino people, peasants, the youth, some of the elderly workers. There was a, just a union activist who was killed the other day. I can't remember his name off the head, off the top of my head, which happens all the time. Union activists are murdered just for asking for a livable wage for asking for things as small as safety precautions. And they are murdered by masked thugs. Uh, I forget the term for it, but essentially they ride up on motorcycles, pull out a gun, usually an automatic weapon, spray the person and drive off without even really ever stopping. It's kind of like a drive-by killing on a motorcycle. This happens to union activists all the time. Human rights organizations get killed with this. And they're coming from thugs paid by either capitalist bosses or people that are coming from the government themselves to carry out these attacks. In fact, I remember there was a very high profile case where a school where elections were being held was burnt down and the government said, we have proof that the Maoists did this and they killed those people except for that if my memory serves me correctly, they actually won that election. And then a videotape gets reported, gets released, showing people of the Philippine National Police Force running from the building, having set it on fire. And then of course, there was a national outrage about it, 
and there was demands for those police officers to go on trial, and I believe they actually were arrested for that. So this is pretty much uh, more of those uh, psychological operations that are carried out against the mouse. This claim of, we can live at peace, we can all be together with this, and appeal to the mouse, to be saying, well, we're, we're gonna, we can have peace talks with you, so that we can resolve this situation without violence. Well, you're 40-something years too late for that. Gloria Macbagal Arroyo, she didn't learn that lesson. And this guy, Aquino, or what's his name now, isn't learning that lesson either. This is not a system of peace. This is capitalism. This is imperialism. These are not systems of peace. These are systems of war, oppression, exploitation. There can be no peace in systems like these. These offers of peace talks are a fraud, as this system that exists globally, but specifically in the Philippines, cannot produce that peace. They are a lie. They are liars. They can offer nothing but exploitation, murder, and oppression. The people, the people in the Philippines are right to stand up to this. They are right to stand up to the brutal exploitation that is being carried out by their people, by their own government, the tremendous amount of corruption that exists within the country, imperialism, which dominates them, makes them a cheap labor force, exploits them, turns tons of places in, of their country into brothels for foreign tourists. I've seen some of the, some documentaries on prostitution in the Philippines. It's absolutely disgusting. Some of the worst conditions that I've ever seen in regards to that. The NPA fights this, while the Philippine government and the capitalist class of the Philippines survives and feeds off of it. The people are right to rebel.